Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be the fashion portion of the um, Nordstrom sale haul that I did. And I do apologize because when this goes up, the anniversary sale will be over. But um, I had to order everything because we don't have a Nordstrom here in Oklahoma. So I had to wait for everything to um, get here first. And then um, I did send some things back. So hmm, anyway, we'll get started. But I do apologize that this is late. Um, the items could be still available on the website or at the Nordstrom store. They just won't be at the reduced price. Um, if you're not familiar with the Nordstrom anniversary sale, they do it once a year. And they mark down and put on sale um, new fall fashions that are coming in the current year. And then once the sale's over then they put everything back to regular price. So anyway, this is the first time that I've purchased from the fashion side of the sale. I've always done just maybe a few beauty things and I already did the beauty haul and I'll put it in notation right up here. So if you're interested in seeing that you can look at it. So anyway, let's get started because I do have I don't have a whole lot. Um, but I do have a couple of things that I'm going to throw in here that I purchased from Sam's Club and also from Overstock.com because they are some pieces that kind of coordinate with the pieces that I got from um, Nordstrom Rack. Or not Nordstrom Rack, the Nordstrom Anniversary Sale. So let's start with this guy right here. This was a um, plaid and it's not a flannel but it's a flannel look plaid button up long sleeve shirt. You can wear the sleeves um, all the way out <clears throat> or you could roll it up like they've done here. This is how it came with it rolled up. And it's just this really pretty olive green <clears throat> with a little bit of purplish um, colors running through. And this is from the, the brand BP. And from what I understand, the BP brand is like Nordstrom's, um, Nordstrom's, not Nordstrom's, Nordstrom, their um, house brand. And I did get this in a size large, and I like it because it's a little bit longer than what I can normally find, like at <clears throat> Walmart or places like that. Um, it's very lightweight, which is very good because it doesn't really get that cold here in Oklahoma. And as a mature woman, um, I have a tendency to stay a little bit on the warm side, so um, lightweight is good. And this is 100% cotton, so um, when I wash it, I probably will not put it in the dryer because I don't want it to shrink. But anyway, it's just a really pretty olive green. I thought it would be beautiful with some of the olive green eyeshadows that I have. And it says it's called the Olive B Jenna ST is what it's called. And like I said, I got it in a size large. And I tried it on and it's really, really cute. And I have a couple pieces. One piece I got from Nordstrom and another piece that I got from um, Sam's Club to coordinate with that. So I will show you what I got from Sam's Club. And it's this vest. This canvas type vest. Um, it's 100% cotton. It is in a size large. It is by the brand Sebi, S-E-B-B-Y. <clears throat> and it's got the little cinched in waist. <clears throat> where you can cinch it in to where you can make your waist look a little bit smaller if you want. And it has a slit here in the back. And this is just so doggone cute. It's just like a um, like a safari type jacket is kind of what it reminded me of. And they also have something similar to this on the Nordstrom um, anniversary sale. But it was, gosh, was, was it $60 or something like that? Where this at Sam's Club was only $20. And has little pockets here, but I thought it would look really, really cute with that um, shirt that I just showed you. And so I got that. And I liked it so much that I ordered it also in a gray color. And they had one other color, which was what they call a khaki. But it was more on the, the green khaki than the brown khaki. Does that make sense? Anyway, so since I already had the olive, I didn't get that one. Now, if it was more on the tan khaki, I would have got it. But anyway, so 
also to go with that um, that plaid shirt. And I'm not very good at doing fashion hauls. This is my first fashion haul. I got this sweater. Um, it's just a open open cardigan sweater. Has some pockets right here. And again, this is by the brand BP, and it is a size large. And I don't know what the fabric is on yet, but anyway, um, what is the color called? And these were sold out. These sold out fast. This is called Olive Dark. But it's just really, really a cute, lightweight sweater, and I just thought this would be nice for in the winter over that shirt. And then if I got too hot, then I could just, you know, slip this off and it wouldn't be, you know, a big deal because it's not, it's not a heavy sweater, but it's nice and long. And it looked really cute with, um, I'm not going to say skinny jeans because I don't do skinny jeans, but um, some crop jeans with some little booties. Really, really cute. It looked cute on too. I liked it. Okay. Then I also got from the anniversary sale um, a shirt here, a striped t-shirt. Just a basic t-shirt. This is from Caslon. Again, it's in the size large. And these were regular $25 and they're on sale for $17.90, which I normally wouldn't pay that much for a t-shirt. But I got to thinking, you know, every year I I get new t-shirts and then I wash them and then they draw up and then I can't wear them anymore. So I thought, well, this year I'm going to try and get just a couple of basic tees. Maybe a little bit of a higher brand or higher quality. And I don't know. I don't know if these are any better than the ones that I would get at Target or at Walmart. Because I've not had these before. Um, the fabric in them is 60% cotton and 40% modal. But I like, I like a v-neck. I don't really, very rarely will you see me in a, a rounded neck because I think it makes my face look more rounded. I like a v-neck because it helps to elongate my face. And it has a little bit of a wider um, piping or trim around here. And I just thought it was really cute. And this looks really cute with the gray vest that I just showed you. I did try that on and it was really cute with that. So I got that. And I got another one of the same brand but just a different color. And it looks like this here. And it is in the color red cordial red cordial anyway just a really nice and they seem to be you know long enough too so and then it has a really cute little pocket this is really cute because it's got some um like um gold little i don't know how you want to say it. it's not striping but anyway gold running through it weaved through it and then I got this sweater that I thought would be really cute over that. And again, this is like the green sweater. And this one is in called Red Sun by the BP brand, brand in a size large. And I wish now after I got these, I wasn't for sure how they would look or anything. So I only ordered the two colors. And I wish now I would have got a couple more colors, but they were they're sold out. So And these were, I think these were like on sale for $40. So along anyway got that <clears throat> and then I did get a couple pair of um, pants or jeans from Nordstrom and they are both from the cut from the cloth brand KUT and I got this pair here because I kind of liked the little frayed ends on them here and this is called a Reese ankle straight leg like I said, I don't ever do a um, a skinny jean because my the build of my body will not allow me to wear a skinny jean. It just it's just not going to happen. And I was kind of reluctant on the straight leg because I didn't know if the straight leg would fit either because I usually wear like a relaxed fit or even like a flared. So I ordered these. I normally would. Um, be in a size 12, but I ordered these in a 14, and I'm glad I did because they fit perfect. They're the perfect length um, for a booty. So, then I got those, and did I say it was the Reese Ankle Straight Leg by Cut from Cloth? And these were on sale for $50, $49.90, and I think the regular price is $98 or something like that. They do have a little bit of distressing on them, but not not a whole lot. 
which I would have preferred that they didn't have that, but they look really cute on though, especially with that long sweater and the t-shirt and then the booties I'm going to show you. It was really cute. And then the second pair of pants or jeans that I got from the sale was also from the Cut brand. And this is the Catherine Boyfriend. And I wasn't for sure on the sizing, so I went ahead and ordered a 14 in these, but they are a little bit too big. So I went back to order the 12s, but they were out of stock. And I happened to check a few days later, and the 12s were back in stock, so I ordered the 12s. Haven't got them yet. They're supposed to come tomorrow on Monday. But anyway, it's just their basic boyfriend jean um, with the cuff. But I like these because they're a little bit longer than your normal boyfriend jean. And so they kind of come down a little bit below my ankle. So these are look, 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 these will look really cute with um, booty jeans. Booty jeans. No, not booty jeans. With booties. <laughs> oh, I can't wear booty jeans, no. And um, they are 91% cotton, 7% polyester, and 2% spandex. So, and I knew with them having the spandex that once I wore these, if I would have kept the 14s, they would have, I mean, they would have fit and they would have been loose. But I was wanting a little bit of a slimmer fit to wear with the booties. So, anyway, I do like this, and it's really kind of funny because. I was going through the other day my, um, I have lots of boyfriend jeans, um, crops, whatever you want to call them, that's where I wear most of the time. And I found a pair of this brand, but it's just in the lighter um, wash of the Catherine in the 12, so I already had them and like them, so I wish I would have remembered that because then I could have just ordered the 12 to begin with. Okay, just a few more things and then we'll be done. I'm going to reach down here and get everything. Okay, I did order um, one piece of jewelry from the anniversary sale, and it was this little guy right here. It's just a, they had this in the gold, the rose gold, and the silver tone. I got the silver tone, and it's just a little cuff-like choker, kind of like what I have on already. I'm going to take this off so you can see what it looks like. It's really cute, and I really like it, but it's a lot flimsier than what I thought it was going to be. Uh, so it's very thin and really pliable, I guess. So I have to be really careful and not bend it all up. But I just thought that was so cute. I like the big circle and just, I like a bold statement necklace, which you have probably um, noticed that in my videos on me, obviously. But so I did like that. So that was it from the fashion side of the Nordstrom sale. I kind of, um, kicked around the idea of ordering some booties but I just didn't I never owned a pair of booties before and I wasn't for sure if I would really like them so I didn't want to spend you know 80 to 100 dollars for a pair of booties and I know I can send them back but anyway so I went on to overstock.com and I found a couple of pair that I like and I thought I'm gonna order these and um, I think they were around like $30 a pair. Now keep in mind they're not real leather. They are man-made material but they're really cute and I'm sure they're only going to last a season but that's okay. So the first ones that I got are these right here. They're kind of, they look like a suede. Of course they're not real suede. They have the little zip up here and then the little wedge which is about a two inch and oh, these look so doggone cute with that stuff that I just showed you. Oh, they were so cute. And there's the open, the peep toe, which I, I wear flip-flops and sandals from the, probably March to October as long as I can. So I thought, oh, I can get open toes now and it's not going to look dumb to wear open toes in the winter time because that's the style and the fashion now. But they just have the little zip up. Um, I wear size 8, and these fit true to size. I didn't feel like they were too snug or too big. <clears throat> and they seemed very comfortable. They're kind of open here in the back. And um, I don't know the brand. Um, when I put this up, I will try and put a link down in the description box of the brand that these are, because I threw the box away. Mm, 
So anyway, but I got those. And then the next ones I got are from Chase and Chloe. I did keep these in the box because I was actually thinking about sending these back because I had ordered from Holt Look two pair from the Steve Madden line. But when I got those, this part right here was up higher and it really, there's not enough space between my arch. I have a high arch. So there wasn't enough space between my arch and my leg. It, anyway, it rubbed. I didn't like it. It was not comfortable. They were cute and they were a wonderful price, but I sent them back. I sent those back to Steve Madden and decided to keep these. And I said this was the brand Chase and Chloe, and this is a black pair. And again, it's made made material. These are pleather, and they're not a. It's not a high quality pleather. I guess there's different qualities of pleather, just like there's different qualities of leather. <clears throat> and these do have an odor to them. So if you do order these, just keep that in mind. There is quite a bit of an odor. Again, a size eight. Um, it has the wedged or not a wedged heel, but a stacked heel. And I don't know, this is probably maybe a three inch stacked heel. I really wished it was more of a platform because it would be a little bit more comfortable. But anyway, and again, it's the peep toe. And the back here, I liked the back for the fact that it has the Velcro um, adjustment. So if your ankle is a little bit skinnier, you can adjust it a little bit tighter. And then the opening there. And again, cute. I don't know. These, de these definitely were not as comfortable as what these were. That's why I was going to send them back, but I wanted to wait until I got the Steve Madden, and I'm glad that I kept them. Um, so we're going to give them a go. We're getting ready to go on a trip <clears throat> to Vegas, and when we go to Vegas, I'm going to look and actually try on some different booties and see if maybe I can find a black pair that I might like better than those. But anyway, so that is it for my fashion haul. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm going to try. I don't know how well it would work, will work, but I might try throughout the video. You, you may have already seen it, but to insert some clips of what the stuff looks like on. But I don't know because it's, it's not even 11 o'clock and it is like super hot already. So... And just the idea of putting on a sweater and a shirt and boots and makes me hot. <laughs> so I don't know. And plus, I don't know if I would get it edited in there because I've been having I've been having hell with the editing process. Not so much editing, but uploading to um, YouTube here lately. Um, I had switched over and had been using an iMac the MacBook Air and it has iMovie on it because you know every time you look at anybody that has really good videos you know you look down and they say oh I use iMovie or iMovie Pro whatever <coughs> so and I do like the editing process through iMovie but on that computer I could not get nothing to load I've been struggling I've had like three videos that I have, <clears throat> excuse me, been able to upload because I can't get them to upload and I, I don't know what I'm doing. I, I convert them, I compress them, and then when I do that, and you probably notice they're either blurry or they have the black lines around them. <clears throat> so I've gone back, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> I've gone back to my um, original editing software and, and the laptop that that software is on. I don't like it because it's it's contrary and when I go to type in descriptions and stuff it mess it just I don't like it and um, it's a struggle and you know this is just a hobby I don't do this professionally I don't do it as a job it's just a hobby I like getting on here and talking about beauty and talking to you guys but it's so frustrating to not be able to get it to work it's just oh it makes me mad anyway so that's it that's my little rant on what's going on with my videos so if you notice some <coughs> excuse me <coughs> <coughs> if you notice some that aren't as you know like they used to be that are kind of grainy and ick or the content is kind of uh, because i'm just like mm, 
it's because I'm so frustrated because I've done videos and videos and videos and they look good and I think they're good and then I go to get them uploaded and pff, can't get them, can't get them to you. And it's making me mad. Anyway, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Um, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and just stay with me for a while. Um, I do a lot of shopping. You will see a lot of hauls on this video, on this channel. So if you like hauls, <laughs> you definitely want to stay because I will definitely show you some stuff every week. Anyway, that's it. Bye.